My name is Magnus Rudell. I am the CEO of uh, Changa and uh, uh, I am 48 years old and uh, I've been the CEO for Changa for three years now. I have a background in, in the automotive industry. I've been working uh, uh, within uh, Saab, General Motors, Opel for almost 20 years in the past, living abroad uh, uh, in, in Europe. And, uh, but uh, I um, uh, my, my previous job was uh, a CEO of a small company uh, producing uh, uh, textile uh, fabricated goods. I have a philosophy that you should demand basically that, that your employees and co-workers make mistakes. But if, because if you don't make mistakes, you have not tried hard enough, in my opinion. You must always try. And that, by trying, you also, you also fail sometimes. But the failure is not uh, something bad. It's something you can learn from. You have, you have tried something, you learned that this was maybe not the best way. And that is also a great thing to know that, okay, what we did, uh, that, that we already did was maybe a better way, but this doesn't mean that it's the best way. So you have to, um, I would say not allow for mistakes. You should demand mistakes. Otherwise, you, you, you're not pushing it. When I worked in automotive industry, it was basically the opposite. <laughs> you, you did not require failure. And, 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 and so it's, it's so stupid. Then you don't, then, then you only make blend products, blend processes, etc. You, you are not really pushing it. You are, uh, being playing it safe and, and playing it safe you're not playing it to win uh, i try again i try to, to embrace uh, and and uh, have fun uh, and and uh, that we are on a journey together that that we are having fun and we are developing ourselves and the company to the next levels so i think uh, uh, my co-workers are or colleagues are uh, motivated and, and have a great uh, time at work uh, we are happy. We are, we, yeah, again, we're having a great time. A manufacturer of uh, yeah, uh, utensils for, for outdoor cooking and um, uh, different types of stoves, uh, fry pans, kettles, etc. In the past, the company started like uh, in, in 1925, and then we produced uh, household equipment. Uh, but uh, over time, it, it evolved into basically uh, outdoor cooking uh, that you can carry with you and package light and, and easy. in those, that region it's not only the stove it's also a, a more or less a lunchbox we call it a mess tin that uh, that is used for cooking different uh, uh, rice dish, dishes that is very very popular basically uh, uh, used in a manga uh, uh, paper you know the japanese uh, strip the uh, comic strip that that it uh, was a female hero that used our product basically and, and, uh, all, and this was three four years ago and after that the sales start to pick up and now it's just exploded and basically the, the what we've been told is that this has changed the way of making food outside in in, in especially japan it's uh, that that product it's was from the 50s in the, uh, used in Sweden a lot, but after microwaves oven came into use, we, we only produced maybe 5,000 per year for the worldwide. Uh, but now, uh, this year, we will produce close to 300,000 units only for Japan. You couldn't plan for it, it just happened basically.